Uh, the other thing I'm curious about is is how you're using this time. So I, I do want to acknowledge, um, I think for both of us, a point of privilege is we can shelter in place because there's roofs over our heads. Right. Um, you know, there are, there are spaces that I think we both tap into creatively and spiritually. That means that we can flow a little different than people who have to decide whether or not <clears throat> they're going to jeopardize their livelihood by being the essential worker that goes to work. But saying all that and not brushing any of that aside because I know it's all serious and the folks who can't use this time because they're not well, they're sick with the virus or any other way. Um, how have you used this time? What has this time meant to you? What has God spoken to you um, while you've been, you know, on lock, who's saying lockdown? Even lockdown is a point of privilege because there's people really on lockdown in jail, right? Um, <clears throat> but what has this time meant for you? And how have you, how have you shifted spiritually and energetically as a result of what I think has really been a reset for so many of us? Well, when this first started, I was really tired. I had just mm -hmm. come off of tour, yeah. like literally just came off of tour and was thinking we're going to go on vacation. I had a few more speaking things to do. And then the world shifted. Like it felt like I left the world one place on tour and I came back and it was in another space. Mm -hmm. And I had to really give myself permission in those first couple of weeks to like rest and recalibrate because I do think I instantly felt this need to kind of like, OK, well, you're home. You can't just be sitting at home. You're you're going to get lazy. You're going to do this. You're going to do that. You need to kind of hustle. But I gave myself permission to rest, mm -hmm. connect with my husband and family. I think that what I'm really doing is allowing creativity for my next to come to me. I think when this first started that I probably underestimated how long it was going to be around. Yeah. And I thought to myself, well, in a few weeks, we'll be out of this. And what do you want to be your testimony when we're out of this? And now I'm beginning to see that like life as we knew it may not come back for quite some time. And yeah. in some ways, it's not at all. And so I'm kind of, I'm trying to be sensitive to not wanting things to work in a way that I am familiar with mm -hmm. and being open to the possibilities and I think that really comes from a place of peace and stillness and allowing creativity to come to me. Mm -hmm. So creativity has created everything that's in my life right now, that everything started with an idea. And that idea come, came from a place of rest. And so I'm trying to balance the need to get things done mm -hmm. and to push and to uh, complete projects, but also leave space for creativity and rest and Honestly, to just like not be a machine. Mm -hmm. I think that when I get and, and you're like this because you are you travel more than I do, and I no, travel. I don't think that. I think it might no. be about it might be equal. No, when you go, you're going, Sarah. So yeah. I think yeah, like my busy times are like the first quarter of the year, like it's nonstop, Jan like Martin Luther King Day to Women's History Month, except for I had five things canceled in Women's History Month, yeah. but like. You, when you're like on tour, your tour dates are just as compact, I think, as like my speeches. Well, I don't know, man. I, I know that for sure I need, um, I need something fresh. And I think that I need to not know. I, I hate it because on one hand, I love having stability. I love having routine. But I also know that I am not at my best when I can guess what my tomorrow is. Mm -hmm. But I'm really at my best when I'm kind of depending on God for what next is going to be. Mm -hmm. And so I'm learning to release the control that I like mm -hmm. to have over my life. Oh, yes. <laughs> Lord. Release the control that I like to have over my life. And to wake up each day saying, what does today hold? What creativity is in today? And I don't mean just creativity for my work and my yeah. career, but like for my marriage, for my children, like cooking all of the time. What you been cooking? <laughs> That's what I want to talk about. What you been cooking? I, I had to go oh, shallow for a minute because I'm hangry right now. <laughs> I need to get some food. What you been cooking? Because people don't know that, that y'all can cook. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to another edition of On One with Angela Rye Masterclass. I hope that you learned some, you laughed some, and you were inspired more. And you want to know how you can do that even more? You just have to subscribe. Go to youtube.com slash Angela Rye and hit subscribe. We want you to be the first to know about upcoming episodes. If there's something you want to see, if there's something you really love, or if you hated it, 
Put that in the comments below. I hope you go easy on the hate. I'm a little sensitive.